Fernando, how do you feel after an intense month of testing in Spain? I feel good. I feel uh, we did more or less the program that uh, we, we expect. Uh, there is always uh, uh, more time uh, that uh, we will uh, want uh, to keep testing and uh, keep improving the car. But uh, of what we had available, I think we arrived more or less ready. Do you think that uh, only six days of testing are enough for you to understand the behavior of the F-138? Well, I think it's never enough. Uh, drivers and engineers, we, we like always more and more testing. Uh, uh, I think it's the only sport in the world that uh, with five days of testing you go to a world championship. But uh, this is uh, Formula One in this moment. It's the same for everybody. So uh, we just need to to put everything together in these five days and uh, have a, a very intense program. I think we did it. We, we try and we test uh, more or less everything we wanted. So I think we are ready. What are your feelings about the F-138 moving from the first test uh, in Jerez to the last one in Barcelona? Well, feelings are good. Obviously, we need to, to wait until the, the first race comes and uh, see how competitive we are. Uh, uh, I feel confident with the car. I was uh, improving uh, the car constantly from the first day to the last day. And uh, uh, we need to, to keep working. Uh, we know that Australia is only the first step of uh, many improvement that we need to put in the car if we want to, to keep uh, uh, a good uh, consistency level of competitiveness and uh, we know that uh, it's not going to be easy, a strong competition, everybody improving so we need to do good. What are the main areas of strength uh, and where do you think the car can still improve? Well I think aerodynamics will be the, the key point again because uh, in this uh, Formula 1 today aerodynamics are uh, uh, very important or the most important part. There is also the understanding of the of the tyres, which is uh, again not easy. Uh, this year's uh, Pirelli are a little bit uh, more difficult and uh, more uh, complicated to understand. So we need to to keep working on those because uh, in the in the future months, I think the car will be better if we understand better these areas. You finished um, 2012 after a very intense uh, season. What are your expectations uh, for 2013, beginning the new season? Well, expectations are always to, to work hard. Obviously, we need to, to improve uh, some areas that uh, we were not so strong in 2012. Uh, the car seems in a better starting point, let's say, but uh, I expect a 2013 championship very, very close, very competitive with many alternatives, many uh, teams fighting for victory. So we need to be ready because it will be a stressful year. What will be the key factors uh, this year? Last year we saw many different uh, winners in the first races. Do you think there will be as many teams being able to fight for the victory? I think it will be difficult to see seven winners of uh, the first seven races, but uh, also I think that it's difficult to see uh, one uh, team dominate four or five consecutive Grand Prix. I think it will be uh, more alternatives than uh, only one team. So. I think uh, hopefully we are one of those and uh, we can uh, have a good start of the championship that uh, that will clean a little bit the, the, the pressure and uh, we will put us in a good position. How do you think the F138 will adapt uh, to the Melbourne track with uh, super soft and medium tires? I think uh, it will be a, a challenging uh, Grand Prix in Melbourne. I think the, the track is uh, challenging. I think. Uh, uh, bringing the super soft maybe is a very aggressive approach and uh, we know that uh, uh, it, will be, it will be challenging. Uh, the good thing is that the same tires for everybody, so it's up to us to do a better job than the others, but uh, I think uh, it's not going to be easy. And do you enjoy driving uh, in the Albert Park circuit in Melbourne uh, as the beginning of the season in Australia? I enjoy, I think uh, Albert Park is a very uh, difficult circuit, very complicated circuit with very technical parts. It's a circuit that uh, is bumpy, it's a circuit that is uh, in continued uh, improvement from Friday to Sunday because it's a straight circuit, so uh, in a way it's a circuit that you have to know, you have to know some tricks and uh, you have to, to understand well, so it's, let's say it's not a rookie track and uh, hopefully we can put uh, some of the experience that uh, we have after 12 years in Formula 1 in, in this race.